We started our foundation because we were all diagnosed with ovarian cancer and we didn't feel like the treatment options out there offered much hope for most women. When they were diagnosed, they were told, you have maybe five years. In July of 2011, I was surprisingly diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. And the doctor actually said, get your affairs in order. My hope was taken from me right away. And I've since learned that no doctor has a right to take anybody's hope. The unfortunate difficulty with ovarian cancer is catching it early. There are very subtle changes in women. Abdominal bloating, shortness of breath, abnormal vaginal bleeding. It's usually painless. So by the time those symptoms do occur in women, it's already advanced stage. The survival statistics for stage one ovarian cancer are actually excellent. They're between 90 to 95 percent five-year survival. For stage two, which is disease limited to the pelvis, the five-year survival rates are quoted between about 80 to 90 percent five-year survival. However, once you have stage three disease or disease in your upper abdomen, the survival statistics drop off significantly anywhere between about 20 to 25 percent five-year survival for stage three disease. And for stage four, it's approximately five percent. Since the approval of Taxol and Carboplatinum in 1994, over the past 22 years, we've had relatively little progress in the treatment of ovarian cancer. That just wasn't okay to us. And so each of us coming from a different perspective had the same mission, that we needed better treatment options, better choices, and to provide hope for women in the fight. I was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer in December of 2011. Then I had a reoccurrence in 2014, and then a third reoccurrence in June of 2015. I've had three abdominal surgeries. There's some good data to suggest that operating on the patient first and doing optimal debulking, patients do better. We do also know that ovarian cancer responds to chemotherapy. The unfortunate thing about ovarian cancer, though, that are advanced stage is that the recurrences are quite high. My wife, she was the one that recurred, and when you recur with ovarian cancer, they don't give you five years anymore. They give you six months to a year and a half. When someone calls one of us and wants to talk about their diagnosis or their illness, we help them focus on our healing and, and where we're going. I was determined to do something out of the box, and that started my journey into looking into phase one clinical trials. So they harvested my tissue from the tumors to create a vaccine for me to receive. There are 12 vaccinations that they harvested from my original surgery, and I have three left. We have opportunity with ovarian cancer patients to help sort out and identify relevant signals that are related to ovarian cancer growth. We're setting ourselves up to bring more and more of the targeted therapies into our program and the technology to measure the relevant genes it's called next generation gene sequencing. We can identify what the generating power of the cancer cell is, the molecular signal. We're able to match those power generators in the cancer, so to say, with a therapy that can destroy that. We now have a huge portfolio of such therapies that we are now offering patients. We could better put the right patient onto right trial. That patient with a particular signal defect should go on the trial with that therapy that destroys that signal defect. It involves both molecular therapies and immunotherapies. So uh, this is very important work, uh, in my opinion, because uh, there could not be any new drug development without uh, these uh, clinical trials to find out uh, how much can it help. I think we're at the cusp of more personalized medicine that will ultimately lead to a cure for women. Coming to Mary Crowley, this is more of the future of immunology. It gets two pathways instead of just one. And I have seen a 39% reduction in the lesions they're measuring as of the last CT. Hope is here. Our mission is to raise awareness to help women currently in the fight. And the third part is to help find a cure with people like Mary Crowley.